Hello, I'm Dave Walker and I am the author of a book called God in the ICU. I'm married to Darrell and between us we have two sons, four daughters and 11 grandchildren. We live in a beautiful part of South Africa in the Natal Midlands with rolling green hills, meadows, lakes and beautiful weather. I find my book is predominantly read by Christians, um, many of whom have lost their faith in, in a loving God and or else have lost their faith in the power of prayer. And um, they have written to me and said how much they have experienced the, the love of God and how much encouraged they are in um, getting back into prayer. So that's been a blessing for me, that so many people are encouraged in, about the love of God and about the power of prayer. This is the story of a Christian man who is going for a major operation. We prayed together before he came for his operation and things went extremely well. Unfortunately, 10 days later, he developed a serious complication and was desperately ill in ICU in a lot of pain and deteriorating rapidly. John and I prayed together, but I could see it was a struggle for him and an act of the will to praise God under those circumstances. Usually I prayed and trusted that John, his face sometimes contorted with pain, was concurring. With no external evidence, we had to believe that God had heard our prayers before his operation and that he was still in control. More than that, we had to believe that all things work together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Further down the road, uh, further down the page, after five days as I was walking to the ICU, I braced myself to face yet again a man I regarded as a friend who was consumed with fighting pain and fever and a failing heart. To my surprise, I was met with a broad, genuine smile and a glow on his face that you could see from the door. What happened, I asked, with curiosity and a stirring excitement. I met Jesus. You did what? Yes, I met Jesus last night. As I was drifting off to sleep, he came and stood at the end of my bed. His power and his love just enveloped me. It was glorious. He still struggled to speak in his weak state, but there was no doubting his enthusiasm as he continued. Then he took, my, he took me by the hand and together we visited all my favorite places in Peter Maritzburg. We went home, we went to my favorite restaurant, and then we went to World's View where we could overlook the city. Finally, he brought me back here and as he left, he said, now don't forget to praise me. I said, well, let's do just that. I held his hand and we started to pray. Eloquent praise poured from his lips in easy, fervent worship. It was supernatural empowerment. He could not have done that the night before. Whether in a vision or a dream, I did not doubt that John had experienced Jesus personally in a way that had profoundly affected him. So that's the kind of story that uh, that's in this book. Sometimes there are miraculous healings, but at other times Jesus just comes you know, to be with the people in, in a deeply personal way. So I'm sure you will enjoy this book.